Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. In Emmerdale, Will Taylor and Kim Tate, Claire King, are fighting as a result of their marriage breaking down. Kim's role as Will's blackmailer was made public last week, ending the couple's marriage. Having known for a very long time that he had slept with Rose, Christine Tremarco, she made the decision to get retribution by forcing him to spend the night in a grave. After that, Kim demanded that Will sign back to her his shares in the home farm enterprise, but he refused. Will declared he wasn't going to back down and let Kim win, instead of acknowledging their marriage was finished and returning things to as they were. In the episode airing today, Kim found Will attempting to seize control once more when she arrived at her stables. Thankfully, Kim drove the salesman away before anything happened, even though he was trying to sell her horses. Kim met with her solicitor by herself at home farm and stated they needed to create a plan. Kim said that, given everything she had gone through, she would rather burn the property down than allow Will to take anything that was rightfully hers. Kim saw Will chatting with her adversary Caleb, William Ash, as they were entering the pub. By granting Caleb ownership of his shares in the haulage company, they verified that Will was just a few seconds away from obtaining even more money. Not only does this help Will, but Caleb has been plotting in secret for weeks to buy a stake in Jimmy's, Nick Miles, business. Kim came home to find Will watching television on the couch, as if her day could not get any more stressful. He followed her instructions and went, but Will argued that she had no legal authority to command him to do anything. Feeling frustrated, Kim declared war on Will, telling him that she always prevails and that he should get ready. That just leaves us with one query. Who is going to win this? Some Emmerdale viewers think Kim Tate might have assistance from a covert accomplice in her murderous scheme to kill another of her husbands in order to harm Will Taylor. When Will, played by Dean Andrews, found out that Kim had blackmailed him in retaliation for his breakup with Rose Jackson, he became unwilling to forgive her cheating spouse and faced her own transgressions. The businesswoman played by Claire King had to fight for her assets when Will decided to take half of everything she owned, despite their prenuptial agreement, during this Monday's, September 23, 2024 episode of the ITV soap opera. This escalated their argument to furious levels. Online, though, several admirers started to question how Kim had fooled Will without assistance, claiming that she would have required assistance for the gory act she performed on him. As hostilities between the two grew more intense, many fans of the Yorkshire-based show took to Twitter, now called X, anticipating that Kim would kill her husband, years after she had taken down Caleb Milligan's father, Frank Tate. Regarding that, Caleb gave him a quick loan to demonstrate his loyalty, albeit it's still unclear what his goals are. One fan said on social media, Kim needs to get rid of Will and then go after Caleb's little business, and another concurred, saying, Will's going to be filling that grave in the woods for real if he takes on Kim. A third person interrupted, saying, Kim is the ultimate black widow. However, a few more viewers quickly put up another notion, thinking that Will would be used as a scapegoat for one of his own crimes, why isn't Kim threatening Will with the body of the dead policeman Don killed and Will buried on Kim's land? A viewer swiftly countered, saying, she can't because she removed the body, so there is no evidence and she would be implicating herself. Is Kim able to uncover a gap, though? Furthermore, a Reddit user suggested that Kim might have an accomplice, even though Will has up until now seemed to have gained Caleb's support unless proven differently. They asked, who dug the hole and carried the coffin etc. There's no way Kim would get her hands dirty, to which one fan replied, I think it was Billy. Kim presented the wad of notes Don had discovered to him. I believe it was Billy, said another. Following Don's discovery of Will and Kim's scheme to force her mother Rose out of the Dales, Billy Fletcher, Jay Consul, and his wife moved from Home Farm to Holdgate Farm. Could this odd call the hunk took recently have anything to do with Kim? With the dramatic turn that the long-running soap opera Emmerdale takes, the plot thickens. As the tension on the ITV show intensifies, spoilers have been going around and even the showrunners have issued alerts suggesting that characters might leave. Natalie J. Robb, who is well recognized as one of the most adored characters on Emmerdale, has disclosed her romance with one of her co-stars and provided an explanation about how the plot may develop. The Liverpool Echo claims that Natalie debuted as Moira Barton in the show's 2009 cast, her tenure in the made-up Yorkshire village has since been chaotic, and she had a difficult marriage to her first husband, John Barton. 
She is now Kane Dingle's partner after getting remarried, and she was instrumental in the show's 50th anniversary celebrations last month. Moira was devastated to learn that her husband had been arrested for killing Al Chapman, and the story has now taken a tragic turn as it is revealed that Kyle, Kane's son, was actually the murderer. To try to keep Kyle safe, Kane has since entered a guilty plea. Amy, Kyle's mother, is scheduled to take him out of Emmerdale, and teasers indicate Moira will also shortly be leaving the Yorkshire village. As part of the historic 50th birthday celebrations, major characters from the show, including Faith Dingle, Liv Dingle, and Harriet Finch, have been killed off. In the anniversary episodes, the show's executives issued a warning that up to eight characters would leave the program. But Natalie has given supporters comforting news by confirming that she won't be leaving permanently. According to her statement to Metro, she manages to understand it, returns from Belfast and says, it was a blip, she's fine now, and we can make it work, we will make it work. In her heart of hearts, she's not sure if she can actually pull that off. However, she feels that she must give it everything at this point as he is her true love and she has a family to him. We had a sequence where she promises to do all in her power to keep her family together. Moira has always been very devoted to her family, thankfully, Natalie's real life is less dramatic off-screen than her fictional one. Though she was formerly romantically involved with co-star Johnny McPherson, who portrays Liam Cavanaugh on the ITV serial opera, it is understood that the soap star maintains tight relationships with her cast members. Fans were taken aback when it was revealed that Natalie and Johnny were dating and had moved in together during the initial COVID-19 lockdown. But only a few months after shocking fans with their relationship, the two Emmerdale actors announced their split last year. Catherine Dow Blyton, a former star of Emmerdale, talked candidly about her emotional reaction when she learned that her character Harriet Finch would be killed off. The actress revealed on the Soap from the Box podcast that she broke down in tears when the show's executives informed her, we love Harriet and we're going to give her a good death. Recalling the day she found out she was leaving, she said, I tried to get out of the building, sat in my car, and started crying because I was shocked. To be honest, I had been prepared to leave for some time, but leaving a great job is a big decision, so I'm pleased they took it. I wouldn't have had the courage. Following Harriet's untimely death, Catherine also spoke about the outpouring of support from her followers. She reported getting many nice messages and comments from viewers asking, people going she hasn't even had a funeral, where's her body? It's only that I had some sympathy for Harriet. Show business demands that you just get over it and go on. After considering the nature of the field, she came to the following conclusion, people are asking where her body is, she hasn't even had a burial. It's only that I had some sympathy for Harriet. Showbiz demands that you just get over it and go on. I think the problem is everything seems to be very sensational now. When you watch the old episodes, it was very much character-based, the actress said, sharing her opinions on the present status of soap operas. You simply wonder, why does everything have to involve conflict, murder, and affairs? You can have a character who is single or a happily married couple, she went on. I don't know whether soaps are a victim of their own success because there is a limit. When you're doing six episodes a week, what do you do to keep people interested? She wondered, going on to question the necessity of sustained interest in the soap opera genre. Simply put, rather than focusing on characters, it looks like soap operas are competing to perform the greatest traumatizing and stunting scenes. Regarding her own exit from a well-known soap opera, Catherine said, I became extremely upset reading that. I thought about how it felt to film my last scenes. On the actual day, my hair was covered in various pieces of forest, and I was covered in blood. We had these massive industrial wind generators that were blowing garbage and sand right into your eyes. I was able to go through the day without crying because it wasn't as emotional in the end since the technicality of what you had to do detracts from the emotion. Though it wasn't my last scene, I did receive flowers, beautiful presents, and heartfelt words on my last day. Since it feels like I'm on a break, I don't believe it will hit me that I'm not going back for a few weeks, but it will gradually sink in. The actress, who recently left Emmerdale, is playing the wife of boxing trainer Brendan Engel, Alma, in the upcoming Prince Nassim Hamed biopic Giant. Pierce Brosnan, who plays Engel, has been spotted wearing vintage clothes and a grey wig on the Yorkshire set. The movie is currently in the making stage and is not yet ready for distribution. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.